Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of these kids. Um, you know, I, I told them just now in the locker room that, um, I actually told them before the game that people can say a lot of things about us, um, but they're not going to tell us that we're not tough enough. Um, and because that's my one of my biggest pet peeves. And I'm, I, swear that they just put it all on the line and they showed their toughness tonight and I also just want to um, thank the fans that came and that asked them to continue to come and to continue to believe in these girls because they fight every day and they don't know they don't know uh, you don't know what what the adversity is that we go through um, as a program as a team I mean this is 14 young ladies and a lot of things happen and um, and I'm just so proud of them for overcoming some adversity this week and and uh, figuring it out you know and even even after last night's um, loss which was clearly a disappointment for us um, these kids woke up this morning they came to shoot around and they focused on a game plan they executed it really well we worked on a defense for like 20 minutes that we hadn't even ran before and and it was the difference in the second half so I'm just really proud of um, of them and how hard they executed and and how hard they played and this is a freshman and this is a sophomore and that's that's pretty good for our future <laughs> Riley, kind of like she mentioned, disappointing last night. You guys had to turn around and come back today. It didn't start off great for you guys in the first quarter. What did you guys have to do to adjust and kind of get back into it after that slow start? Uh, well, you know, I think all of us just kept thinking about the loss yesterday. It, it hurt pretty bad, and we were all disappointed in ourselves. And so going into the game, we had a slow start, but we never gave up. And this team is just super confident in each other. It doesn't matter who's on the floor. Like, we're ready for anybody to score, to get stops, whatever we need to do to win. And I think we were just so focused tonight and locked in from the very beginning, we never felt like we were going to lose the game. Getting Bree Amber back in the lineup, what did what did that do for you guys schematically, and what did that kind of do energy wise? Uh, she brings us a lot of experience. You know, she's a great player. She can score at all three levels. She rebounds so well for us, and she's so physical. And so she's a good person to have on the floor with us. And she brings so much energy on and off the floor. She's always being competitive, and she doesn't want to lose. Uh, no, just having Bree back, uh, I think it settles us a little bit, you know, because Bree has been here for a while. Bree has lots of experience that maybe me and Riley don't necessarily have, and she comes in, and she's just kind of the calming factor. So that's it's really nice to have her back. Let me kind of go into you, your third game now on the college level. This was a little kind of physical for you, but it seemed like you were just kind of confident going at them. Are you getting more comfortable in this kind of role now? Um, coming in, I never really felt uncomfortable because of the work that we put in this summer going to Greece. I've had in-game experience over there. Um, and then just being around it, surrounded by great teammates who tell me if I'm doing something wrong, tell me where to go. Just people who are here for me, and in turn, I'm here for them. So really, it's the transition hasn't been bad at all. And you guys still aren't fully whole, but you got another important piece back. You kind of grind one out in overtime. What does that kind of do for you guys' confidence level going forward? Oh, it boosts it. I, I mean, there's nothing like a win, you know, especially when you, when you have an injured player right now. We have Cat out. So getting a win for Cat when she's having to go through something is, is big for the whole team. Um, I just think it's it's good to win on your home floor. You know, we lost one yesterday, and I think you always need to win on your home floor, and that's something Coach preaches all the time. And so moving forward, I mean, obviously having a win here, it's just, a, like she said, it's a boost, and it, it makes us super more motivated and we're ready for the next challenge. Bailey, I think you lost your first game since, what, your junior year of high school last night. You turn around and find a way to pull this one out. How do you stay calm in the moment, in the big moments? You know, game on the line, you have two free throws to tie it. How do you stay calm in those moments? Um, at the end of the game, it's just basketball. And all of us have been playing basketball since we were very young. So I wasn't even, honestly, at the end of the game, not even looking at the scoreboard. We practice free throws every day. So it's just a matter of, of going up there and knocking two down. Maybe they're big ones. I mean, Jazz went up there. She had a huge rebound, put us in good position to be in the overtime. So it's just a matter of going up there and doing our job and not trying to do too much. And then, Riley, quickly for you, how have you found a way to kind of find your shot and continue to find a way? You tie your career high last night, and then you set it tonight. Um, I just think, you know, I – 
just forget about the shot I took before. You know, if it's a miss, then I just know that's something I got to do for this team is score. And so then I'm always looking for my shot. And then, I, obviously, I was getting really guarded really tight tonight. And so then it opens up other players. Bailey was able to get knocked down so many shots. And I'm looking for players, too, to get assists like that. And so I just – I love being able to play like this with my teammates. I feel so confident on the floor, and I just can't even explain how much fun I have. <laughs> good job, growth. Ice bath would probably be good in your future. Yep. Thank you. Disappointment didn't start off great tonight. What did you guys have to do, and what kind of led to the defensive shift that you guys needed to have to slow down their hot shooting to start? Yeah, I, I mean, again, I think that with such a short, short turnaround in the offense that they run, it's really hard to prepare uh, and to simulate that in practice. So it takes you a little while to get used to it. Um, and so I thought that our kids, um, it, it wasn't that I don't think they were playing hard or that they were playing bad I just think they were having to get used to their offense and and you know just with with Kat's injury um our lineups are a little bit um you know inconsistent and and we're really working on matchups and so it takes us a little while to find the right matchup the right lineup even and um but I thought our kids settled down um I didn't think they panicked um you know I never saw them duck their heads and um, and act like, you know, they, they couldn't do it. And they kept fighting and, and they kept attacking and finding a way to get easy buckets. So I think they um, – I think really just defensively, um, they just had to settle in a little bit and get some stops. And you get Bree back for the first time this year, and it seemed like she kind of set the tone getting to the free throw line early. You guys were there a lot tonight. What did you see from her and her? Yeah, for sure. She came out firing, for sure, and that was definitely a key um, to the win was to, to be aggressive and attack them and try to get them in a little bit of foul trouble. There were some kids that we wanted to um, attack specifically, but also um, we were playing Bree at the four um, a little bit to start with, and, and it extended their – their defense out and then it opened up some lanes for her to get to the rim and um, I just loved how aggressive she was and she set the tone and it looked like she was very appreciative to be back on the court. Coach you go into halftime down and in the second quarter you're down by as much as 15 I guess during halftime what was the conversation like to get your team revamped? Well you know we talked about the positives that were happening out there and and how they closed the gap at the end of the half and uh, and then we talked about changing defenses up you know we tried to junk them a little bit and and um take away some of their shooters on the perimeter and and we worked on it for about 10 15 minutes in practice this morning so um I really liked that they were able to adjust and and make those adjustments at halftime um and I thought when they came back out at halftime they they were still aggressive and and they got some much needed stops early and you talked a bit about your team switching defense but we also saw Colorado kind of switch to a zone there in the third quarter how do you feel like your team responded to the scene that switch in the defense? I thought they actually responded really well. I think we're really hard to zone because um, we've got such good shooters and our kids pass the ball so well. Um, it did startle us at first, I think, when they got in it because they're so long. I mean, they're a really long team and athletic and playing some passing lanes. But I think once we kind of got used to it a little bit and, and saw a bucket go down for us, um, and then we started moving the ball really well. And I, I didn't ever see us panic against that zone. Even when they deflected the ball, I thought that we went and um, and secured it and still got a nice play off or attacked the basket and got somebody a, a good shot. How does it feel to have um, two young players we just had up here uh, start so well so quickly? Yeah, well, I mean, that's why we recruited them, right? Um, I mean, they, they're very talented. Um, th those are kids that we had a chance to recruit um, for an extended period of time um, before we got here. I mean, I've been recruiting Bailey since she was a seventh grader. So <clears throat> um, it's awesome to have that type of talent, and we're going to continue to attract that talent. But the fact that they're performing so well at such a, such a young age is just huge for our program and, and what the future is going to look like. And also just we talked about it, but Bree Amber coming back and then even having a big block at the end, doing yeah. so well at the free throw line. Also the free throws, how important was it to see the team, what was the record number of free throws made? Um, how how was that to see them get to the line and then make shots, especially when they really needed it? Yeah, I really enjoyed watching that. And, and to be honest, I never even con worried about it when they went to the line today. It was just a, a zone that we were in, meaning that like they were so focused that they just knew um, that they were making – 
you know, they were getting payoff for being aggressive. And so we work on that a lot. We work on trying um, to shoot the ball well at the free throw line. And to be quite honest, this week we have not in practice um, at all. And, um, in fact, we did a shooting drill the other day and we shot 50% one time and then we did it again and shot 55%. It <laughs> didn't get any better. So um, it was fun to see them relax and stay focused, be mentally tough, um, and go up to the line and, and be good shooters because they are good shooters. And that's all that, that free throw shooting is, just mental focus. Where would you say this birthday ranks on all-time <laughs> birthdays? It's got to be pretty high up there, right? Absolutely, yes, absolutely. I've played on my birthday a lot, but um, this one is definitely one of the best, and especially after last night. I, I told them yesterday when I woke up, woke up this morning, I was like, which I don't know if I even went to sleep last night, but when I did get up this morning, I thought, this is going to be a crappy birthday, and not necessarily because of the game tonight. It was just because of the way I felt when I woke up, right, because of the last night. And I thought to myself, the only thing that could make this birthday great is a win, and, man, they gave it to us, so I'm super proud of them. Coach, when you look at Colorado, obviously a lot of experience. They were the NCAA tournament last year, returned Quay Miller and some really big players. How proud are you, are you of your young group to be able to overcome such a veteran-laden team that's played so much basketball together? Yeah, I mean, that's that's a mark, right, of, of us trying to get to that that point in our program because we're trying to become NCAA um, eligible. We want to play in the postseason. Um, that's one of the reasons we played in this tournament is because we knew that it would have um, very good competition and to be able to get them on our home court was great as well. Um, but it, we just need those opportunities to play against people that have that have played where we want to play. And um, and for us to have success against them, I think, will help us um, down the line, particularly in the Big 12, right? Um, and we're going to be in some really tough ball games with some really big teams. And Colorado's a big basketball team. Like, they have a lot of really nice pieces, and JR does a great te- great job with them, and they're going to win a lot of basketball games. So um, I'm really proud of just the tenacity that we played with, the toughness, and, um, and that's a big win for us. Circling back to Bree's block, I know you asked about it, but a little different angle. Uh, how important was that? And what was kind of the message? I know Colorado called a timeout and a tie game. And you know, how important was it for your team to make those little plays in close games that maybe have been missing? Yeah, you know, we talked about even like winning close. You know, this is year three and you, you win close in year three. And um, I thought that Bree was so smart in stopping the drive because clearly um, number 11 was trying to get to the rim on us. And, uh, and, and they kicked it to someone who's – not a particularly great shooter. Um, she really likes the pull-up. And I thought Bluey just closed her out and tried to run her off the three-point line, and she got a hand on it. So it was a great closeout. Thank you, guys. Appreciate y'all.